Matt Damon, 47, has completely stepped in it after the leading man decided to try and point out the difference between sexual harassment and sexual assault on ABC News Popcorn with Peter Travers. He was lambasted by the likes of Alyssa Milano, 44, and Minnie Driver, 47, for his poor choice of words. Now we're hearing how Matt is reacting to the backlash. Matt does not want to get dragged into yet another controversy, he's only just recovered from the Project Greenlight diversity fiasco, a source tells HollywoodLife.com exclusively. He does truly believe what he said though, and, like many other men, he can't help feeling like there's a witch hunt mentality right now, head here to see more photos of Matt through the years. The source added that Matt's Dundee response says more about his loose tongue than defending Hollywood's alleged sexual predators. Matt's problem is that he doesn't have much of a filter, he speaks his mind and it often lands him in hot water. Matt's got four daughters of his own, and he really believes he's not got an ounce of misogyny in him. The point he was trying to make was that there's different degrees of harassment and assault, and he thinks some of the allegations that have been made over the past few months were in response to what he believes to be nothing more than some harmless horseplay. That said, he's really taken Alyssa's comments on board, and if more people take offense at what he said then he will definitely come out with an apology. Matt really doesn't want to be seen to be condoning, or excusing, sexual harassment and assault. Because it's an issue that he takes very seriously, he just really needs to learn when to keep his private thoughts private, and not make statements about controversial subjects before he's fully thought through what the potential reaction could be, the insider said words to live by I do believe that there's a spectrum of behavior, right? Matt said in the ABC News interview. And we're going to have to figure, you know, there's a difference between, you know, patting someone on the butt and rape a child molestation. Right. Both of those behaviors need to be confronted and eradicated without question, but they shouldn't be conflated, right? Something tells this isn't the end of this discussion Hollywood life is. What do you think of Matt's response? Share your thoughts and reactions in the comments section below.